We're celebrating our 20th episode with a brand new product launch. You'll be a winner when Danielle Miller, our resident social media maven, comes back to discuss how to ignite your coder brand. The two of us crack the code to building the perfect website and social media focus. We'll cover must-haves for any company brand to succeed, especially when marketing with our insights. If you've been waiting for a winning strategy to start the new year, we're giving it to you today. Hang tight for a chance to win Ross Coates Level Up Package to get yourself launched, branded, and on track in 2021. Let's get ready to level up your powder coder game. Welcome to episode 20 of Ross Coates Powder Coater Podcast. I'm your co-host, Kim Scott. Our weekly podcast interviews influencers and industry people and covers trending topics so powder coaters can effectively learn and grow their business. Today's topic has been months in the making. But first, I wanted to introduce my special guest, resident social media diva, Danielle Miller. Welcome to the show, Danielle. Thanks. Thanks. This is a, a great opportunity to hop on and connect and kind of give everybody a little social media update. It is. And we're celebrating some other stuff today that we'll get into later. But she's here, as usual, to unravel all this stuff to get you on the path to branding perfectly for powder coating. And that is where we want to kind of lead in with a special thing that's going to happen in the show. We're going to introduce a new giveaway. So I hope that you stay, stick around um, a little later in the show as we introduce this brand new package that we have to offer, offer today. So hang tight um, and uh, let's get up to date with social media. And then I'll get into my story about branding and the, our Maui Powder Works website and all the stuff that we did and why it's so tiring to be a powder coder. <laughs> Go ahead, Danielle, what's the update? Right on, so um, what we've got going on is just some changes in uh, the, the functions for some of the platforms. So Instagram Reels are really taking off right now, um, even more so than Instagram Stories. So before what we would see is um, sometimes you could use hashtags in your Instagram stories. And when you searched for that hashtag, you could actually show up in the um, search results of that hashtag with your story. That is actually not really happening anymore. Just double check this one yesterday. Um, and you're, there's just no story showing up right now for hashtags. What is being featured are reels. So those Instagram reels are getting featured in hashtag search results, the Instagram Explorer tab. You can share them to your news feed. So if you have not tested out Instagram reels yet, that would be the thing to start working on now to get ahead of this next wave of the um, social media, you know, yeah. trends. I tried doing the reels and I don't know if it's an age thing or just I need a tutorial on it. But yeah, it's, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> I love that. Um, you always sneak that one in on me every time, Danielle. <laughs> so for those that are listening, I gave Danielle a branded coffee cup with Maui Powderworks on there. And she always features it in her social media, which I just love. And she loves to sneak it in just to see if I'm paying attention. But <laughs> um, So uh I, I did try, I tried <laughs> to do a reels and I think the, it was hard to kind of know that I was actually doing it right. And I don't know, I think we're going to have to have you come back and, and make, or just have you do like how you make it in just uh, record it on your phone or something. I don't know, because that was much harder to navigate and I didn't even know if I was doing it right. So it's like, Here's the problem with social media. If you're not on top of the next great, latest, greatest thing, 
it, one builds on the other. And that is the trap that I think a lot of people have with getting started, just even getting an Instagram profile or whatever, or just getting on Facebook. I mean, I think the Facebook thing is pretty much everybody has, at least as far as the coder, custom coders I follow, a lot of them already have Facebook. We're seeing that a lot in the directory uh, with people signing up. People already have this stuff, but are they active on it? And how well do they know those platforms? And that's really where I think the brand, the brand package that we're introducing today is actually going to help a lot because it's just, sometimes it's just about getting started. Would you agree? It, that's 90% of it, right? Is you just have to get started. And, and the other big piece of the puzzle that stops people is kind of what you said. It's like, like you have to play with the tool so much that you end up getting this comfort level. And then you have to test and find out what worked and what didn't. So what this brand package does that's so darn brilliant is it's the tests have already been run. We've already done hundreds of posts and found out, oh my goodness, here are, here are the top 10 that really kill it every time they get posted this type of this formula for a post every time it gets posted you know it's killing it with the engagement and so this type of brand package that adds that social media element is really giving somebody the leg up right it's really jumping them ahead from not just the getting started hurdle but then the experimenting and finding out what's working hurdle yeah because i think they see i i know that they're on Instagram and they're following other powder coders that are leaders or influencers already. Everybody knows who they are. And, um, you know, they've had that time to develop and craft their brand. And they've also like, if you're talking about Roro, he actually includes it in his, I mean, the social media is part of his price or package, you know? Um, but, you know, so we all know who's who on, because we're all following the same hashtag, we're all following the same people. But um, the point I want to make is that it's not, it, it, it takes a while to learn this stuff, and we've already done the hard work. So just to kind of announce and we're kind of leading up, we've already kind of delivered the punchline in a sense, um, but that's, there's so much more to this package. So Danielle and I yeah. about six months ago, right? It, it, it's been about that almost six months ago. Yeah. Uh, shortly after we started the podcast, we started seeing that there were powder coaters out there that did excellent work, were taking pictures of their stuff, uh, trying to get started on Instagram, but didn't have a website, didn't have some of the other components that are so very, very, very important um, to uh, to a well-rounded brand, at least digitally, what's acceptable today. Because what are con consumers looking for? What are your customers looking for? They're looking for consistency and that you're on more than one digital channel. So you're on Facebook and Instagram, that you have a at least a landing page, if not a fully developed website. But I'm telling you guys, it takes so long to do. And that's what people don't get is, and why we started this brand package uh, through Roscoat, through the podcast, we wanna deliver this package to you where you can get the social media audit, you can get the landing page so that people can see you here and there and everywhere and all looks the same because that's what people are geared for. That's what they see when they're looking up, I don't know, Rice Krispie treats or craft or whatever. I mean, they want to see the ad be similar to the web page, be similar. So it's all across the board, right? Without it, there the branding gets confusing. So, so having that consistent branding across your landing page, your your social media outlets, um, that's super important. Because otherwise, what happens is people actually start to see your mismatch of content, mm -hmm. and they start to think that you have more competitors than you do. 
Oh, right? wow. When it's That's like, no, it's dynamic just point. you. It's just you. You're the option. They should be calling you, right? So it's yeah. really important to keep that branding consistent. And the other thing that is happening right now is this mobile first development with marketing. And that's what this brand package does that is so perfect is that it's, it's a mobile friendly landing page. It's a, you know, Instagram and Facebook are already mobile friendly. So it's making sure that you're using those channels the most effectively that you can Mm -hmm. right out the gate. Right. This package has so much, and I, I want to let everyone out there that's listening know that I have done the website build out. I have rebuilt the site, my site, Maui Powderworks. When I set out, I saw everybody else's web page, uh, powder coating websites. Some were older than others. Some were HTML. <laughs> Some were like ancient. And some of the new guys just didn't have say they just got a new site, but they didn't have the elements that were needed to convince a consumer or a customer or whoever that they needed to go with this guy. You know, maybe they had some flashy pictures, but they didn't have the message or they didn't have the mission or the about or whatever. Or the contact form. Yeah. Have you ever done that? You go to somebody's website and you're like, how the heck am I supposed to get a hold of you? Where's your phone number on this dang page? (laughs) Um, yeah. yeah, some of the practical stuff, right? Yeah. And I set out to build one of the best powder coating websites out there. It took me a long, 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 long time <laughs> and many, many late nights and lots and lots of hours. In fact, I started to think about how long it took me to redo the, the website the way it is now with all the bells and whistles and the you know, maximizing the blog posts and all this stuff. It took me over 2000 hours. That's one year at 40 hours a week for, you know, for 52 weeks. Because you had to learn about it yourself. Yeah. You didn't come with the experience. So it does, it takes that long. Right. So like when you think about paying, when you think about paying for someone to do that, now that wouldn't have, it probably wouldn't have taken him that long, but I still had to kind of get involved with what was being said in this content. And, you know, I mean, that's why I ultimately ended up doing it myself because I didn't have the time to go back and forth with a web developer to say, man, I don't like this, or I want this over here. And I mean, it never ends, right? And that's what they want, right? They want you to continue on updating and it and at whatever xyz price and i'm like i don't have money for that you know i have to figure this out i have to do this myself I, yeah and and that's why i did it and that's why most coders will wait to get a website going because they want to build it themselves they know what they want their customers to see but in the end, they don't, they ultimately don't have the time to do it. They, they're too busy on the shop floor, just trying to get the projects out uh, or they're messing around on social media and they can get that game going, but they can't get this other game. So that's where this whole thing delivers everything to your doorstep. And I have searched and searched. It took me a day or two just to find the right platform that was going to deliver key things that I knew you guys needed on your website. And that is Google reviews, right? Absolutely. SSL friendly. Totally. Mobile That's your friendly. security people. That's your HTTPS instead of your yes. HTTP. And that's right. Google getting on the good side of Google. If you don't have that S, right. Google doesn't like you. Right. Contact form so that you can capture your leads. Such a big one. And we learned that like uh, we learned that when we did the um, uh, when we interviewed custom coders for the brand, you know, we interviewed them and we found out what did we find out? I'm going to get to this stat. It's just incredible. But 37 percent. Oh, no, wait. 
it's even it's <laughs> we learned that 66 percent of coder shops did not track leads right that's more than that? half did not track leads which means you're not capturing an email or a name or a phone number that's just all the way across the board like they're not saving any of that two out of three that's two out of every that three. is two out of three yeah wow and yeah. later on we had another question that said what do you think is holding you back from building a better brand and they said 37 almost 40 percent 37 percent thought that tracking leads and client information was what was keeping them from building the better brand. Yep, yep. Um, and 30% thought they needed to improve their social media presence. 12% would like to build or improve their website. So when I saw these com this coming through the, uh, through the survey that we sent out last year, I, actually it was earlier this year, uh, right before uh, the pandemic. So we got real world stats right at before the pandemic, you know, about what was um, valid for these people. And that's when I started thinking, these people need help. You need help, you know? So much. So, so yeah. So there's that other stat that you shared with me, Kim, that kind of blew my mind um, because it speaks to the time with the pandemic, right? So the stat that you had shared with me is that 91% of the coders that we interviewed had said that they get their business from referrals and word of mouth. <laughs> yeah. Here's what happened. Do you know what has happened? We are in a pandemic. We are all isolated. Yeah. People aren't bumping into each other at the gas station anymore. They don't right. have an opportunity to refer you by word of mouth the way they used to. So, so many coders who were relying on that to drive their business, if you're not pivoting, if you're not taking an action now, a year from now, you're going to look at your bank account and go, what the hell happened to my business? I thought yeah. we were growing and we're not. So that's why pivoting and making sure that you do have that landing page, that you do have that social media presence and that you've got that ability to like run an ad and reach people who have never heard of you is more important than ever. Yeah, because uh, they also said that 50, half of their clients came to their store or their workshop. Well, with people staying at home, how are they able to do that? And that, at some point, you know, there needs somebody needs to come to the shop so that you can see the job or whatever. But I can imagine that that percentage has actually dropped tremendously just because people are just staying at home more often uh, and would rather, you know, deal with people online or or whatever in terms of, you know, but they still need to get the stuff to you. But, you know, if you've seen a sharp drop in this, that's probably why. Uh, and then the only other thing was like, they were, this is the killer for me because, you know, saving money or not, you know, whatever I can do to market the hell out of my website or market the hell out of my brand, I'm going to do it myself. Right. But I was shocked when 33% said that they rely on advertising such as Google or Facebook to bring in the business. And I still I still think that's kind of high. And I, I don't know how you feel about that, Danielle. Do you know how much people spend? Is that normal? Um, well, so, so we put it in perspective, right? 33%, that's gonna be one of every three coders mm -hmm. are bringing in business through advertising and their website. Um, and, and so to think about it, like you have to put that money, that advertising dollar has to be spent before the business is in right yeah. so you're, you're really putting out those funds hoping for a return on investment and i know from you know over a decade now of running facebook ads professionally that it requires a lot of testing most of the time there is not you don't get that bullseye on the first time you throw your dart mm -hmm. right so the first time you put up a google ad or the first time you put up a facebook ad you might spend a couple hundred dollars 
and not get any website traffic or leads, or if you do get the traffic, they don't convert to leads because you just don't, you're, you're testing, you're testing, right? Yeah. So we've already run a lot of these tests. So we bring a ton of knowledge and experience yeah, we that do. we can help these coders with to, to help them realize like, hey man, it's not just about the one ad that they see, right? It's about like, did they even hear about your brand? Do they have a good feeling about your brand? Um, after they after they kind of established, is your brand good or bad, trustworthy or not? Then it's like, okay, oh, now do they have a need? Do they have mm -hmm. a need for your services? Oh, they do. Do they remember you? Okay, they remember you. Now you've got the customer, right? So that's why the advertising ends up being like um like putting the cart before the horse, right? You you really, you're always playing catch up. Yeah, I I can only imagine what it's like in more competitive areas, um, like of the country, like maybe possibly Texas, Arizona, California, Florida, uh, maybe the New York area, uh, Chicago, Illinois, mid, you know, in the middle states there. Uh, these are some of the places that I feel like there's a lot of inquiry about powder coating, but there's also a lot more competitors. And if you're not addressing all of these things to your brand, uh, you're missing out on sales because uh, they could be going easily somewhere else, you know, and how do you get yourself out there when you're just starting? You know, it's a struggle even just when you're starting your brand, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, well, let's, so if you haven't, <laughs> I guess we should probably recap. If you haven't figured out by now what we're talking about, we're gonna introduce that here. So Danielle and I, through the podcast, um, through the, uh, through Ross Coat, through all of the stuff that we've done in the last six, six months, we have developed a unique package that is specifically designed for coders by coders. Um, and some of the features that this is, and I think I'm gonna share my screen right now because uh, I think I wanna kind of go through the Coder Biz website. So if you are on your phone and or you're at your desktop and you're listening right now, please go to coderbiz.com. That's C-O-A-T-E-R-B-I-Z.com. Package, right? So this is this is the level yeah. up package, guys. Right. This is the package that if you're sitting there going, oh crap, these guys are right. I I need to pivot, or I'm starting a new powder coating business right now and I need mm -hmm. to right this is the package that you can get affordably from experts in the powder coating industry that is going to take care of your website and social media needs from you know the landing page to getting your your profile on Instagram and Facebook audited it's going to take care of a lot of that so Kim I'll let you take back over because you got that screen up now and you can go over each yeah and the um and the, the value so if they enter to win what what how big is this prize if they enter to win, you know? It's big. Well, yeah. first of all, Ross is on there. So he's telling you like right now, you better do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. It's coming from authority. Uh, Ross Coates says, um, so yeah, so here's just the over why here, uh, over, overlay or just a general, like you're gonna get this professionally designed web page. It is a landing page. It's just going to be one page, but it's going to have everything you need on it. You're not going to need all these other pages. Although once you get your, once we complete it and build it for you, we'll be handing the torch over to you. It's easy to use and you can add pages as you need. Okay. Um, so you get this professionally designed web page. Uh, it's got, um, and then we're also giving you the Facebook posts. We've already crafted the messages for you. So literally all you're gonna do is just pop your best shots, your best images into this 
uh, template, and then you're, uh, we're gonna help you get those posted. Um, and then you also get like this, what's the Instagram upgrade? What are we so doing there? Yeah, so let's talk about the Facebook posts and the Instagram upgrade. So the, the Facebook posts are not, it's, we're not giving you, so the, here's the, the trap a lot of people fall into. Hey, we're gonna give you 30 days of Facebook post content. Guys, you're smarter than that. You know it's not about the noise. You know it's not about the quantity of posts. You know that. You know it's about the quality. So what we've done is we've re-engineered. We've gone back through our process and in marketing over the past mm -hmm. few years and said, what posts were driving our follower growth? What posts were driving our website traffic? We found the magic formulas for those posts. And now we're going to give you that formula, mm -hmm. right? Which you can tweak and switch out the picture and use every week or use every month or the way that we no works guys is this is where you put a couple of bucks behind it on the boost post or the Facebook ad. And then all of a sudden you go from uh, Kim, what, what did we do with the podcast? We went from 200 followers or some likes on Facebook to 900 likes on Facebook. You know, we're, we're yeah, you, you're, that was you, huge. You can do that in a matter of weeks with these special posts, with these crafted mm -hmm. posts so that's the, the Facebook post is there's just, we're giving you just a couple of them, but they're templates that you can make many, many versions of the post. And they are specifically designed to get you more followers and to get you website traffic. Right. Now the Instagram upgrade. The thing about Instagram is that it's, it is, it's tough to get website traffic from Instagram unless you've got 10,000 followers. So you got to ask yourself, What's the goal of me being on Instagram, right? And if you think about those questions we asked earlier, we said, you know, first they have to have that feeling about you. Is your company a good company or a bad company? Then they have to have a need and then they have to remember you, right? Mm -hmm. so, so these Instagram posts are designed to get you top of mind for them, get you mm -hmm. brand recognition so that when they hear your company name, they're like, oh, those guys, I'm on, in, I see them on Instagram all the time. I like their stuff, right? So we, we qualify that first question. Then do they have a need? Now here's the Instagram posts again. You've got this engagement happening. They're remembering you so that when the need comes up in their life for powder coating, boom, they think of you first, right? So that's what these Instagram posts do is they build brand recognition and they also generate um, engagement for you. Right. And it's, you know, your photo, it's your image. Mm -hmm. um, you're not copying Maui Powder Works. You're not reposting my stuff. It's not any of that stuff at all. We're just providing you the templates that worked for us, that work, that are grabby, um, we've spent many, many hours on Instagram looking at some of the top hashtags and, you know, what's won, won it for us, what's, you know, uh, winning it for other people. Of course, your images are the first thing on Instagram that people will stop on their feed. And you know what I mean? So you need to have your very, very, very best photos Uh up on Instagram and up on your website and your free Facebook posts. Uh, so yeah, okay. Um, I think people get that. Uh, let's kind of get down a little further about what uh, you're also, we're also gonna give you like an audit, which we talked about is key. So if you, yeah. you know, we're assuming you may or may not have, you know, you, you, I imagine you'd have at least one of these um, and we'll just look it over and see what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, right? Yeah, so so the way this, what Kim's talking about here is the Facebook and Instagram audit. And I'll tell you, I run, uh, I run a top-rated marketing company in Maui that specializes in social media. And we have spent years developing a proprietary 50-point inspection that we will run your Facebook page through to make sure that you've activated certain features that you are um, using and upgrading to the different uh, areas in Facebook that you need to turn on, right? A lot of people are missing things like, geez, 
it, when I look at a page and they're missing their call to action button, I'm like, whoa, guys, you need some help. If you don't yeah. know what a call to action button is, that just reinforces that it might be time to tag in an expert on your Facebook page here. Um, because this is like designing a business card these days, guys. Everybody's going to look you up on Facebook. They might not interact with your post so much over there, but they're going to look because you've got reviews on Facebook now. You've got that call button on Facebook. They can go to your website. It's like your online business card, right? And then on Instagram, you know, there are some tricks that a lot of people miss out on because they're just kind of like when Instagram tells you, hey, put your business name here. I'm telling you, most of you guys are writing your business name there and you don't realize you've got a missed opportunity. So Kim and I are going to fix that for you, fix your Instagram profile, make sure you're using it to the best of your ability so that every post you create from then on, you can do with confidence that your profile is up to snuff. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I've kind of, um, before I even start to look at a, if I go to somebody's Instagram page, I will, before I even go through what they've posted, the first thing I do now is I'll go to their profile and see what's there and see what's missing or what could be, you know, I'm, I'm just doing it naturally now uh, just cause that's kind of my thing. Like how, how well do they have their act together? You know, because it, it's part of the stair step to the brand and you, you know, nobody's going to tell you this stuff. Yeah. You can go to YouTube and search a million freaking videos on this stuff, but, but nobody's going to tell you specifically for powder coating, right? <laughs> you yeah. know, nobody's going to tell you that they'll, they'll just give you the general business thing. And that's what I want to keep honing in on this podcast about is that this is not just a business webinar thing where people are talking about what you should be doing for your business as, as in general, we're powder coaters. We're telling you specifically what you need for your powder coating business, you know? Uh, so let's move on to social media ads. Cause I think this is such a good bonus and it's actually included in the package. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I mean, when, when you get this uh, level up package, you know, one of the things we're doing immediately is going to spend money on your behalf on advertising, right? So we're immediately taking some money right off the top and making sure that you've got some ad dollars out there. And the ads are going to run on Facebook and Instagram. And what they're going to do is take those Facebook power up posts, take those Instagram buzz generators, and they're going to get them seen by thousands of people in your geographic area who are ready to use your services. So we're, you'll, you'll be seeing results, you know, we, we say within 14 days, you'll be seeing your, your numbers tick up and you'll feel the results in your business. So that is, you know, amazing to have that faucet that you know you can turn on and off because we'll turn it on for you. And then, you know, after that $150 of ad spend, it'll shut off. And then you can choose, hey, you know, I need a little more business next week. I'm going to turn that faucet back on. And so that's that's a huge benefit to have proven ads that are going to be at your fingertips. Yeah, because if things inevitably slow down, you know, maybe wintertime or, you know, whatever your season is or whatever, you know, I mean, you can a lot of times the best time to do ads is peak season because you get even more business, you know. Um, so these are, you know, this is where we turn the reins over to you and empower you to take over your brand. It's not just that you're going to continue to pay money, money, money every month or whatever towards us doing it for you. It's like the whole point of this package because powder coaters are inevitably very individualistic and very, uh, they're people that like to make their own choices. Um, there, this is designed for you to take the reins and take control of it. We're just giving you all of the helpers already just to get it going. And then you get, you know, you build that confidence after. And I made sure that everything we're doing today is simple and easy to get around. It's not complicated. You don't have to change anything after other than just boosting posts and 
adding your images to social media and stuff like that. Uh, what's okay. So marketing consultation, that's kind of part of what we're also including is just kind of getting to know you first. You know, we want you to, uh, sit, simply fill out a, a form just to kind of get it started. Once you sign up for the package, we want to know, you know, your name brand, who you are, how, you know, what's your story, because that's kind of part of what we want to put on your website. And I'm going to show you a couple of different websites. These are just mock-ups of the Maui Coder brand, Maui Powder Works Coder brand. Um, they're offshoots of our main website, but I wanted to kind of stay within the similar branding that we already have color-wise and other stuff, you know, logo-wise. Uh, uh, so I'm going to show you a couple samples of those here in a minute. So definitely get on the video and make sure you're listening to this um, uh, or watching this video. Uh, but we want to know what, where you want to take your goals in 2021. This is the perfect time for us to start talking about what we're doing, what we're changing, what we're pivoting to in 2021, because we're all really sick and tired of 2020. <laughs> um, so uh, I love this saying because um, it is, it's truth, right? Creating reputable powder coating business takes time, but a solid media and web presence can strengthen that. And Danielle, you wrote that. <laughs> You're not a powder coater, but you wrote that because you get this, how important it is to have this in your business. It's, 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 almost as important as learning how to powder coat in my opinion. And we talked about this in an earlier, uh, we had that um, uh, podcast with Linda Schilling uh, a couple weeks ago. And, you know, the first thing we started with, with that podcast was think of your business as a three-legged stool. You have the operations side, which is the powder coating side, and then you have the marketing side, and then you have the the accounting side or the financial side. And this is one of the legs of that stool is that's what we're trying to give you is a solid footing for this, you know, to carry on with this, uh, you know, establishing your business and stuff. So uh, we're calling it the Level Up Premium Package. Um, it's got uh, a reviews slider from Google so that we tap right into your Google business page. I think we're also going to help you a little bit with, that's part of the consulting is taking a look at your Google business page as well and making sure you have everything you need and you know the strategy behind, uh, uh, behind it. Because if you're not regularly engaging on that platform, on that simple platform, uh, it should be as important as posting to Instagram, in my opinion, because it helps with ranking. Uh, um, and let's see, okay, so here it is. We're going to focus today on the premium package, uh, although there are three packages. There's the basic package, and, um, and there's also the pro package. And for those of you that can afford it, I highly recommend getting the pro package only because you'll be getting knee deep in a three month social media management package with Danielle. And she knows a thing about powder coating. She's that's why she's our resident social media because she's worked hand in hand with me on powder coating and promoting powder coating. So she knows a lot about what we do. Um, so the, uh, so let's get, I'm going to take it, give it to you now on the package yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So guys, this, uh, if, for those of you who, whose interest was peaked when we mentioned the contest, right? This is the package that I'm about to describe and go over here. This is what you could win. Okay. So this level up premium package has a value of 20 Four ninety nine, two thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay, so so at at nearly twenty five hundred dollars, this value is going to save you those two thousand hours that Kim was talking about <laughs> earlier, right? Like like this is what we're trying to help you with here. 
um, change, change your hour of time into a buck, throw, throw it at this package and you're, and you're more Gosh, than happy. That's so there. true. So, and so great value here for, in terms of like, you've got to enter this contest, right? If just, just get your name in it, coderbiz.com, get your name in the contest. You only have a couple of days left um, to, to enter, to win this. Now, if you, whether you win or not, it's available for purchase. So this package is the level up premium package. It includes your mobile friendly landing page with those embedded Google reviews, right? Your stories on there, your photos are on there. Your contact form is on there. Your social media links are on there. We're going to check all the boxes that you need to make sure you have a mobile friendly landing page that is designed so that when somebody hits it, they're going to become a lead. That's the goal of this page. That's what we've designed it specifically to do. Then you're going to get those two power up Facebook posts we talked about. Now, these are templates that you can turn into many, many, many posts, two templates that one is designed to drive your follower growth. The other is designed to drive your website traffic. So these are the posts that when I talked about having that faucet that you can turn on and off, you can throw a couple bucks at, at running these posts as ads and you are in control of how quickly you grow your following and how much website traffic you get on a given week. Okay. You're then going to get eight engagement generating templates for your Instagram and Facebook posts, right? These are those templates that are designed to build brand recognition. Get your brand in people's minds with that checkbox of these guys are a good company. And when I have a need, there's no doubt who I'm calling. Okay, so we're going to give you eight templates for engagement generators. We're going to make sure that your Facebook page and your Instagram account are set up right. Right. So you're going to come to us with one of the pages that you might have set up yourself or had your niece or nephew or friend or daughter or cousin set up for you. Right. It's turned on, but it's never actually been through the ringer. We're going to put it through a 50 point page inspection to make sure it is set up correctly on Facebook. We're going to take your Instagram account through its own inspection. Make sure that you've got a top notch Instagram account. Then we're going to right off the top of this package, we're going to put $150 into ads for you so that you we are proving to you that these ads, these power up Facebook posts and, and the ads on Instagram get results when you put a dollar towards them so that we're, we're already putting our money where the mouth is. Right. We're, we're already letting you know that you will be in control. We're proving it to you that all it takes is, you know, Hey, look, you, you throw $75 at this post and you've got another hundred followers on Instagram, right? So we, we are going to take care of that for you. And guys, what a lot of people don't realize is when we say we're going to spend a, $150 on ads for on your behalf is on the back end of things, we're building you an ad audience on Facebook. You know, people come to me and ask me to build that and I charge them $250 just for that. So, so we're giving you these amazing ad audiences because we're going to run these ads for you, okay? And then we're going to do all of that in a 14-day delivery window so that 15 days from the day you sign up, you've got results rolling in, you know? Like, talk about giving yourself a head start for 2021, giving yourself the best chance of success. I mean, we're going to get it done, get it done quickly, and then give you the reins to be in control. And the, the value here is just unbelievable. I've said to Kim a number of times, I don't know, Kim. I don't know. That's a, that's a really good deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people pay 2500 bucks just for a website, never yeah. mind getting all the rest of the stuff. So the reason what you guys should understand is that the mission behind this package was not hey, we need to make a ton of money right now. The mission was there's a huge need for people to pivot and for people to level up and for people who are starting to have a resource that they can turn to. So they, they quit delaying, putting off, building a website or something like that for their business, right? 
That's why we created this level up package to solve those needs. Yes, it's true. And, you know, I've been on, I've been on Instagram a, a long time and, uh, I, you know, it's nice when you're getting started on Instagram that you, let's just say that it's a pretty supportive platform for other powder coaters to like your posts. Okay. Um, I, I met a lot of friends there. I've a lot of other powder coaters I've, um, you know, and it's always great when a fellow powder coater likes your post or comments on your post and stuff. And I, you know, it's a great way to get started. Obviously you want to follow people in your, in your industry. Uh, but folks, those guys liking your posts are not going to bring you the business. You're not going to get a message from a potential client on Instagram. Uh, and so it's, kind of a, um, it's, it's very important that you delineate that or that you, def, you know, that you, that you understand that, yes, it's great. It's a nice supportive to have, you know, uh, row, row or black label, like your post and stuff. And of course, you know, building the podcast and the community around powder coating is certainly, uh, you know, um, you know, we're getting there, right. We're, we're getting, we're putting those, uh, feelers out and we're making friends across the board, but you want customers and you want to use Instagram and Facebook to get them. That's ultimately what this is about, right? That's why you want to spend the time writing the right post, writing that, you know, putting that perfect picture up. It's not to get a like from some influencer or other, you know, so Please keep that in mind too when you're what your what your mission is this year, right? Because uh, that's that's very important that we delineate that. Absolutely. <laughs> what a good point. No, it's so true because because people who are out there posting right now are like, hey, but like Roro's commenting on my post. Right. It's like, right. Being freaking tastic, guys. High five. Seriously, I'm all about it. But how many leads have you gotten? Right. How many DMs are you getting? You know? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm going to share my screen one more time. And this time we're going to go over to um, the powder coating, uh, Maui powder coating mock webs website. We've got two websites we want to show you today. One is automotive and the other is architectural. So we want to let you know that if you're strictly one or the other, you can do that. But we wanted to show you both kinds because we we understand that some of you do both, right? So we want to be able to share uh, that the ability to uh, to get both, right? So let's just share my screen again. And where am I? I'm going to go over here. Hold on. Um, Let me go over here first and then I'll pop over here. So can you see that, Danielle? Yep, we've got it up. So uh, this is just the Maui powder coating website. Um, it's just a simple site, but I want to let you know that it checks off all the boxes in terms of what people will be getting. Um, and I built this. Um, I learned this platform. It's a pretty simple platform to use. And again, it has all of the bells and whistles that made it important for me because these are all the things that I struggled with making sure that I had with multiple plugins and doing this over here and that over there and spending, you know, and just getting it right and everything like that. But I, first off, I want to let you know that this top of the page funnel, or what do they call it? They call it above the fold. Um, it must have a call to action. Um, so for those of you that are thinking about getting your website done, but maybe you don't want to work with Danielle and I, uh, that's fine. We're going to kind of go through some of this, some of the important key points you want to have, whether you go with us or not in terms of 
a web developer, if you've got someone, a friend of yours, or you've hired someone already, uh, we want to make sure that you understand what you need to have. And this particular website, um, we wanted to feature that we were uh, product finishing's top shop in 2019. So that's kind of like a tagline, like, hey, don't you want to work with the top shop? Um, it also has this call to action, which is just call us up. If you're mobile, you would just click on this and it would go right to your iPhone and you would it would just call. Um, uh, we have a nice uh, fat rim here picture so that you know exactly, yes, I'm the rim guy that I want to shop with these guys. I want to get them to do my rims. Uh, you know, they know instantly that this is what you do, right? And then it has the three main things that we do. We do Cerakote, we sandblast, and we powder coat. Um, and for those, you know, you're always there to have to educate your customer uh, what is powder coating. And it just simply states, uh, now you can put anything you want here. Uh, you probably, you don't even have to use this, like what is powder coating, but, you know, we, we recommend that you follow along with this website just because it kind of uh, tells you, you know, a lot of people that don't know what it is, but think they want to get it done. This kind of clears that air, I guess, uh, and educates your customer. And then here's your, in, you know, your, your top six rims that you're so proud of, you know, um, and it shows off your work, um, it shows you can do two tones and uh, other fancy tricks or whatever it is that you specialize. You could do like gates and railings if you wanted to here. You could do little personal projects that people bring you that are fascinating and interesting. Um, and before I get much further down the page, I wanna flick over here to this uh, slider, which I think is kind of cool because people are used to seeing a lot of things moving on sites these days, <laughs> you know, and you do want them to kind of redirect themselves to your Google because that's really important. And this actually populates. You don't have to do this. This is as soon as someone gives you a Google review. Guess what? It gets sucked up into this uh, fancy plugin that we have on this site, and it constantly updates it. Yep. Um, which is really cool, and it gives you the time. It just pulls everything out for you. And the get a quote um, uh, is button follows along. It's called a sticky, what's it called? It's called a stick, yeah, a sticky widget or whatever. And it just follows the user. So if they see or look over here, they realize, okay, it's got an envelope, get a quote, I'm ready. And here's, I think if I click on it and I don't, can you see that, Danielle? Yep, yep, we can see the pop-up. Here's what I love, 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 love about this get a quote. Um, you get the main and most important information you need, which is the name and the email address. Why? Because six months from now, when you have a special on RIMS or a 10% off coupon or it's show car season or show truck season or whatever, you can take those email addresses that are collected in this platform and remarket those people and shoot them out an email and you know upload their email address to your email platform. And um, and then you know obviously the, they write you this message, it comes into your inbox. And right here, this is the number one thing I wanted to know and I had to have it. <laughs> I had to have this. So many times people, when they're on the phone and you tell them, can you, can you, you know, can you send me some pictures? There are a lot of times they're on their phone, they're not at their desktop and they don't wanna have to upload those photos from their phone to their desktop. They can go right on their phone and attach a file. And you can, I think you can get up to five images or something like that. I mean, it's more than you need. It, it's definitely, I don't think I've ever had people send me more than eight images or five images, you know, pretty much it's just, you know, you want to see the curb rash on a rim, you want to see, you know, the spider veining, or you want to see how bad the chrome peel is on a rim. I mean, that's, 
that's what you want to see when you're trying to give people a quote. Now, some of you, you know, just want to see uh, the rims right in your shop, and that's great. But this kind of helps people get them through that lead door, right? You know, like when you're sharing a photo to a powder coater, you're pretty much walking through the threshold and you're, oh, you know what I mean? Like visually, mentally, whatever, you're already walking through that door because they're taking the time to give you a picture and tell you more about their project. This is a, uh, every time I, I, I'd like to really kind of think back to all the leads that I get through this. Um, and I want to say like it's close to 80 to 90% of the people that email me on this, uh, using this plugin, uh, I'll get them as a client. Like it's just a no brainer because they're sharing their photos with me. You know, all I have to do is reply. Now that's the other part you guys have to do. But anyways, that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, this image is changeable. Uh, I just use this image because, you know, I, I probably should have changed it, but it, I like this image and it, it's clear enough. So we can put a rim picture in there behind that too. So it really customizes and again, brands the uh, uh, brands you again. It's just that repeating branding effect. One of the favorite, my favorite, favorite things that I love about this is that if you have a YouTube channel or a, a I think Ven, uh, Vim, Vimeo, Vimeo, yeah. Uh, most of us are, or some of us have YouTube channels. If you have one, uh, even if you don't have one, get one today because that is where business is going to lead next. And I know when you think you're ordering, you know, you're you know, I, I need another platform. I got to make another, you know. I, I don't, you know, I have an account, but I haven't posted anything. Don't worry about that, guys. I'm telling you, don't worry about it. And here's where I'm going to share this with you and where the insights to my mind and how I'm connecting this brand package to the powder coater directory, okay, and to your own brand and how it all works together is that I had this um, video from like, it's like one of my top videos actually on from one of my blog posts, but you can simply change out the video anytime you want. Um, you can, this would be, if you didn't have like some kind of a promo video or like a featured video from a blog post or whatever, if you didn't have that, this would be the perfect place for you to put a, Hey, welcome to Maui Powder Works. Come take a look at our shop and, you know, just kind of promote your business almost like a mini commercial because people almost expect it today. Do they not, Danielle? Oh, totally. Totally. People are expecting a video, um, some form of video. And you guys, it doesn't have to be professionally done. No. Get a buddy with the iPhone and, you know, have an idea of the, the three things you want to say and just film it, keep it under a minute. We're not even talking long. Yeah, so. I, I don't even think this thing is longer than a minute or two at the most. And, you know, I know some of you are shy. You don't have to be in the video, but people want to see your shop. They want to see uh, your, you know, they want to see your finished product. Uh, they want to see the reason why they want to come down to your place. They want to see the reason, see it, right, in action. So this is a great, it happens right in the middle of this, you know, it's like you're halfway through, okay, this guy's getting interested. Now pop up a video. This is almost just like, what more can I do for you? If you're not sold by the time you're done listening or watching this video, you know, then maybe you're not like, you're, you're pushing back going, maybe you're not my client, right? <laughs> so uh, now we're giving them more reasons why you want to book. Uh, if they didn't know already, or the video didn't show them, 
uh, no, you know, these are just, these are all interchangeable. You can write anything you want. I mean, in fact, we're gonna ask you to kind of help us a little bit when we write this website for you. We don't need a book or a, you know, or an essay, but we do need to know what some of the key features uh, that you offer. Uh, in this one, we had, you know, we're just saying we do drive-in service. Not everybody does. Some people just bring us the metal. That's all we do. That's fine. Uh, some guys are offering, if, especially if they're automotive, they're actually doing brake calipers. They're doing in, you know, they're changing out tires. They're doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, sometimes people want to see what kind of in-stock colors you have. You could say something here. Um, we actually have, you know, part of your no hassle booking is your get a quote pop up too. You don't necessarily have to have an online uh, booking book now form or anything like that, but you can let them know, hey, it's easy to work with me. Um, and of course, talking about how soon you can turn around or giving somebody an update on, hey, I'm right now I'm booked out a month or it's show seasons coming up. You can change all of these as the seasons come through, right? You know? Definitely. And these these are designed to, in, in marketing terms, these are designed to overcome objections. Yes. So in somebody's mind, they're thinking this is going to be a big deal. This is going to be hard. They might not have it in stock. Blah, blah, blah. These, these little bullets on your site. So whether or not you go with this package, having bullets on your site that overcome common objections in a positive way, no hassle booking, quick turnaround in stock mm -hmm. colors, driving service, you know, those actually help people make the decision to contact you. Right. And, you know, we're basically bringing them down the funnel. Are we not, Danielle? Well, I mean, it's exactly this, what we're doing. We're, yeah. we're making sure they understand what the product is, that they've now met us through video. Um, and, and now that leads right into this next section where they actually get to know the team. Yes. And that's what I love best about this uh, platform is because they, we want to deliver the best, your best content in this templated form. And you can see this is not an ugly platform at all. This is very clean. It's very direct. Uh, the colors all match and go along. And, um, you know, this they make it easy for us to build it out for you so that we deliver the best of your content, of your story, of what you're selling, of what you're doing for people and why they should book with you. Is it your quality? Is your your fast turnaround? Is it your colors? Is it your style? Is it whatever, right? So, uh, and I think people do want to have, you know, some picture or, you know, of the owners, a lot of these owners, uh, you know, I don't know if you know this, Danielle, but a lot of, um, I'm coming to understand that a lot of coders are husband and wife teams, you know, right on. and um, I am, I just booked on the podcast and I'm so, I'm just bursting because I just booked my first girl powder coder on the podcast <laughs> and we're going to be recording in January and I'm, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but I am so pumped to know more about her story. And I don't know all of her story just yet, but I believe that she is a part of a team of coders uh, and they're, it's a, like a husband and wife or a family business. So I'm really stoked because I do think that People want to get to know you that way and showing a friendly, I mean, we were at a concert or something, you know, it's just a casual photo. It doesn't have to be professional unless you want it to be. Like if you were architectural more, then I'd say maybe having more of a LinkedIn kind of feel would be more appropriate here. But we're doing rims, we're doing cars, we're doing, you know, fun customizing stuff. And of course, you know, social media, here's just more clicks and links. Uh, where they can find out more about you um, and how, and this is where we put the Facebook that, I mean, in this one, we didn't have an Instagram, but we could put an Instagram one in here um, and more YouTube channel stuff. Uh, and of course, the bottom line is here it is the final, like, let's go. I'm ready. I want my car to look like this car. 
having a finished product um, is so, so important to know that your rims, the ones you just saw a little up here are featured. And then here's the final product right here. Those rims that guy has seen before and that's because it was in your website. If we can make this happen for you, if you could get with a customer that is that you've done rims for and they're, you know, uh, and your car, they've, their car comes into your shop and you take pictures of it. This is definitely, definitely a sales, you know, um, we were fortunate enough to have this guy send us his photos. And I thought this is the perfect time to use this. Um, you know, the key is it's all linked in together. And this is the kind of stuff we know because we're, why? We're powder coaters. We know. Um, and then of course, yeah, I'm ready, get a quote. Here's another, uh, uh, just another reminder. If they don't wanna click on this little thing here, here's another reminder to add and attach their photos. We even have a phone number here in this, in this uh, get a quote one. And um, again, just another call to action here, double call to action quote and uh, call us. A lot of times people do wanna chit chat with you first before they go to this form and send you pictures. And that's, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Yeah. By walking them through, you know, who you are, what makes you unique, your, your gallery of your top images, giving them the opportunity to submit that quote, um, you're really going to get the lead. And, and one of the things I love about a page like this is people aren't getting distracted, bouncing around on a website to different pages they're going through this one page and, and being pointed towards filling out that contact form. And that's why we call this a landing page, guys, because, you know, it's it actually serves a slightly better purpose than a website. It's designed to capture the lead. And it looks killer on mobile. I was just looking at it on my mobile device. You know, it looks killer on mobile. Yeah. So that's that's something to take into consideration when you're trying to build a website is that the, these really just, they look great. They are going yeah. to be responsive on your on your phone. I actually like this platform that we're using because it does such a good job of mobile. Um, it, it's really one of the main reasons why, one of the top reasons why I chose it ultimately. Um, and the other thing is, is I know you, guys, when you want to build your website out there and say you've got a million photos, we get that. Uh, you don't need to show people a huge gallery. Uh, bog your site down with too many images because trust me, Maui Powder Works site, the custom site, it's beautiful, but it's slow because in on some pages because I have to have a plugin for that. And I pay for that plugin to make it smooth. And even though I pay for that plugin and I have all these images, guess what? It's still slow. It still doesn't flip the way I want it to flip. And that was the problem with powder coating because creating content is not the problem. We create content all day long, right? New rims, we're restoring, we're doing this project, we're doing that project. Creating it and creating these images is easy for us. We have the opposite problem of what most businesses lack, right? Is 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 content. The problem is is clearing out and just really just focusing on your best work and the work and the projects that are going to bring you that next sale. Yes. Oh, so much. So I'm gonna flip over to the second site now. And this one's more architectural. And we're gonna go through this one really fast um, because I think we've kind of explained what the funnel is and what we're trying to do. But this one's architectural. So the uh, this one's kind of more focused on the, I guess, building that pop or that brand of like, you know what I mean? For architectural, I mean, that's, it's, yeah. it's love a different kind of want. customer, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what, what Kim's done on this landing page for those of you guys listening to the podcast who aren't on video yet, is that big banner image above the fold now 
is giving some really nice authority because it's a killer logo. It's a killer logo that really is giving people the confidence that like, hey man, these guys got design, they got style, they're taking themselves seriously. And then she she scrolls down a bit and she gets right into the who we are as a business and what is powder coating and what are the three things that we cover, right? So um, yeah. go ahead, Kim, I'll let you. Yeah, you know. no, it's true. And um, uh, most of this was, you know, just content that, you know, again, we're just as, uh, I guess the architectural client, I want to say is more of a reader <laughs> type, right? They want to read more than just like, the flashy automotive, it's all about the visual. Whereas an architectural, you know, they're spending a lot more money for architectural and they're getting bigger projects done. This is not like four or $500 rim project. This is like thousands of dollars worth of work. Um, and it's a great way to showcase the different kinds of jobs that we do. And that's, uh, you know, these barrels uh, were actually bar stools for a local restaurant here. Um, and then we've got this gate uh, for a high-end luxury resort uh, kind of thing going on where we collaborate. And I like this photo because uh, this photo shows the wood and the metal, which means that we've collaborated with someone to create this gate for the customer, the ultimate customer and stuff. Um, it's a bit more um, bold, I guess, and it's a, in its look and appeal. Um, so that uh, someone understands the authority, like you said, that, that these people know what they're doing. Um, and again, here's another video uh, that um, just talks about this video, I think I created for like a convention or like some kind of, I don't know, I was trying to show people like crappy gates and what happens, you constantly paint your gates and they're all drippy and full of liquid coatings and stuff like that. Whereas powder coating is so clean and so perfect and stuff. So that's what this video is about. Um, and that kind of convinces it. It kind of convinces the, the user that, hey, yeah, I'm tired of painting my metal gates. I don't wanna do that anymore. I want nice new ones at my, at my luxury resort or my uh, home or whatever. Um, and I like this one here because it really just shows you the scale of which we can do powder coating. Um, you know, 200 linear feet of trellis was no easy task and, um, and stuff. And so I wanted to kind of show or be broad in the scope of the kinds of architectural jobs that we can do, simple gates or a restaurant, you know, level industries, industrial stuff, or we can do outdoorsy, you know, public space stuff. And there's that, you know, same um, send us a message kind of thing um, with social media links and our address and all the good stuff that you need. The, um, as you can see the, the uh, Google reviews and that get a quote is still there as well. So, um, I think that's, you know, I mean, that just gives you the, the, the sort of the, the broad spectrum of what we can accomplish with uh, this platform. Yeah, and a couple of tips for people, whether or not they go with the level up package, you know, um, knowing that, hey, above the fold, you need that call to action button. Somewhere on the page, you need those Google reviews. You find a place to overcome objections. Make sure you have a contact form. Um, make sure you're showing your best photos, ideally taking a finished product come come the end of the page. You know, and, and those are things that whether or not you guys are able to jump on board or whether or not you win the contest for the level up package, you can take that knowledge with you, apply it to your website, and now you'll have a better website um, that's bringing you more leads. It's true. It's true. And I wanted to prove it to myself that I could build a damn good website. Um, on this platform and make it uh, uh, usable, functional, and changeable. Uh, if later on something changes in their business model, they we're not going to be the developers that hold your freaking hand if you don't want us to be. Um, the point is, is just to get you started, get you out on your own, 
it's not an it's not a hard platform to to learn. So if things change or you want to change a photo, it's easy to do. You own everything. You own everything. Um, and I think just I'll share one more time the uh, just to finish up on the coder package. I'm going to share the. Um, On the because there's a little bit further here, but here's the team. <laughs> We've got Danielle, myself, and my daughter's going to help out too. Um, we might even also have Jeff helping us. Um, and Jeff helped us with the uh, powder coating Hawaii logo, and he also helped build uh, the powder coating Hawaii website. Uh, so he couldn't make it here today. We wanted him to be here. He has done some powder coating projects of his own. So he kind of, he gets the powder coater. And, um, uh, but anyways, I unfortunately couldn't make it, but um, we might have him on our team too, if he's interested in joining us, because we really would like to have him on there. But, um, but this is just, you know, who we are. Of course, you know, I've been knee deep in powder coating and working all platforms for so long. And Danielle's just that expert. She just always knows that next turn or what the next trend is and stuff. So I hope that you will sign up for that package uh, for sure. Get your name in the hat for uh, the, there's Ross again. Bottom line is we're coders. Let my team show you how to generate leads. Anyways, bottom line is we want you to succeed as a powder coating business. And this is our way of helping you succeed, getting you started for the new year. Um, and I'm ready and I hope you guys are too. Oh my gosh, it just went down to 14 days, Danielle. <laughs> No, what timing? <laughs> what timing? So, guys, uh, don't forget, head over to coderbiz.com. Okay, enter to win. You must be a custom powder coating shop. Okay, you must own a pow custom powder coating shop. This is not valid for any other business types. Um, our mission is to help coders. So you must own a coder shop and um, enter to win. And then by all means, guys, if, uh, if 14 days, 23 hours from now, <laughs> we'll mm -hmm. announce the winner. And then um, if you're not the winner, don't worry, we'll take care of you. You can, you know, like we said, $2,500 is like, such a good deal. We're not after a huge profit here. We really are on a mission to just help you level up your powder coating bids. Okay. Yeah. So um, head over coderbiz.com. Sounds great, Danielle. Thanks so much for joining me today. I think, uh, I hope, I want to change the powder coating world. I want to help other coders. Uh, we started it with the podcast. We're on episode 20. Never thought I'd ever get to episode 20. Um, and, you know, people are starting to come around. They're starting to get it. They're signing up. They're following. And we can't be more thrilled. Uh, I, I'm just overwhelmed with the enthusiasm and, and the friendships that I've made, the true friendships that I've made, because I just want to help others. Uh, I've learned the hard knocks of doing it myself. Let me tell you people, it is exhausting. You don't want to have the, you don't want to get started with, you want to get started with this package. You don't want to kind of do it on your own. It's just overwhelming and then you get sidetracked when you really should be focusing on the quality jobs that you're trying to produce not have to sit there and figure out some stupid plug-in on a website you just don't <laughs> final thoughts danielle uh so final thoughts today are just don't forget guys um when you are it's time to pivot right? That word of mouth business, it's just in COVID times, it's much harder to get a hold of. Make sure you got a strong social media presence. Make sure you've got a good landing page or website that's collecting leads for, for you. And um, don't hesitate to get and seek expert help to help you save years, right? Kim literally spent years trying to do this herself and then said, 
this isn't worth it. We, we want to be able to turn it around for somebody in 14 days. So, you know, let us help you, let us help you get that leg up. And, um, if, if you, nothing, if you're not able to sign up to the package today, we get it. But at the very least, take the tips in today's podcast and implement them. Because even just taking those tips and making action on them, staying focused the way we, we encourage you to always stay focused with your marketing is going to save you time. I agree. I couldn't agree more. And um, so thank you, Danielle, for joining me today. Always a pleasure to have you on. You're so insightful. You're so on it and you always know what's around the corner for social media and branding and planning and strategies and stuff like that. So thanks again. You're welcome. All right. Well, have a beautiful day, people. We'll see you next time.